welcome back to my channel okay so today we're going to do a reading uh, about who's gonna contact you so I'm gonna have to look at my notes <laughs> okay so we have oh, let's do one two three one two I need to eliminate these because they are not eliminated where's my three first of all where's my three honey Oh, here it is. Three. One, two, and three. Pick the pile that best resonates with your energy. Make sure you go with your first mind because your first mind is your best mind. I have readings on my website, thelovemealways.com, but I am actually holding a sale right now. So it's three questions for $20. If you guys are interested, go to thelovemealways.com. The description is in the, the description is in the description. Lower the link is in the description. <laughs> The link is in the description box. I'm also on Patreon. Uh, I'm also on Instagram. If you want to know anything about me, everything is down below. So let's get uh, anything else I need to say. I got t-shirts too. Yeah, okay, anyways. Let's get Hi, pal number one. Okay, so who is going to contact you soon? Who been thinking about you, pal number one? Or who you been thinking about? Sometimes when we be thinking about people, we end up bringing their energies to us. So be careful who you think about. <laughs> be careful who you think about and what you think about doing with that person. Because your thoughts become your reality, right? Your thoughts become your reality. So, for number one, number one, number one, number one. Who is trying to find you, number one? <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying it like that, but it seems like somebody's coming after you. So who's going to contact you? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's coming. Somebody's rushing towards you to give you some type of passion, some type of uh, desire, some type of flame. Uh, whoever's coming towards you wants a little bit of more of you. A little, more, a little bit more time, a little bit more passion. This person might come to you and say something really nasty to you. Like, not nasty to the point where it's like, oh, nigga, you nasty. It's like... Oh, you you nasty. It's that type of nasty. Okay, Google. 111 Angel Number Love. No, 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 no. 111 Angel Number Love. Oh, my God. Okay, if you are in a relationship and seeing Angel Number 1111, meaning that you need to act to keep the romance. Okay. Let's, let's do the actual number. 1, 11. Angel number love. I don't According to Integrated right. Publishing Association, 111 angel number in love. Don't let your terrible experiences from the past affect your new life. Try to put them behind you. It's time to put those memories to rest. As a reminder, this angel number has been provided to you. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't, okay, I'm sorry. I bet I'm back. I had some things that, that I was tending to. Uh, don't let terrible experiences hold you back. Uh, to yeah, <laughs> the three of swords, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, heal, move forward. Uh, it's time for you to put memories to rest. It's time for you to put the past to rest. This angel number is helping you. To understand that you have a new chapter in your romantic life. Okay. <laughs> is this a new person that's coming to its power? One? Uh, I don't know. Let's get more information. Spirit says, don't let fear hold you back. Let old memories, let old shit go. It's easier said than done. Because, baby, I am trying to let shit go. But it ain't the easiest process. <laughs> it's not the easiest thing. But uh, I feel like Spirit is trying to tell you that. You need to let things go. Uh, is this a person? Is this someone that's contacting them? Is this the energy of what the person's contacting them for? I didn't think it was. I, I didn't. I, I thought this was yes, but this come in and then that message. No. Uh, spirit says that you, for my ladies out there, you know. Look, I had to come a little closer. For my ladies out there, you about to get you some dick, right? And it's about to be new dick. Ain't nothing better than some new dick that know what they're doing. Okay. For my fellas, 
you're about to get you some sex. This is about to be a new person. I, I honestly, if overall for everybody, <laughs> I feel like this is going to be a new passionate experience that's about to come into your life. Um, and it's going to rush into your life. It's not going to take no time, really. This is going to be something that is going to allow you to truly heal and let go. I feel like maybe you've been on this process. Maybe you've been trying. And it ain't as easy as people make it seem. But... You're definitely getting somewhere. You're definitely going to be. Something wrong my cats. Um, <laughs> you are definitely going to be getting somewhere. You're definitely going to be progressing, progressing and moving forward. Spirit says now is the time for you to manifest your future. Now is the time for you to call in what you want. So honestly, I feel like who is really like going to contact you soon is somebody new. I don't know how they gonna get your number. I don't know how they gonna find you, but they gonna find you. Uh, moving forward, willpower, progression, leaving the past behind them, and only looking forward. Okay. Mm, Queen of Swords. She's been thinking about this. So you've been thinking. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. Uh, the Chariot, the Queen of Swords. Okay, the Queen of Swords. She is uh, thinking about what she wants. She or he doesn't matter about your gender, but this person's thinking about what they want and they're being kind of. Oh, I hear I. Oh, I hear ruthless. You being ru- <laughs> You being ruthless? Okay, somebody is tired of somebody's shit or tired of the drama or an energy of trying to heal and move forward and not taking no more shit. She or he is just trying to figure out what they want for their future. And they're being very cutthroat with it. Hmm. Is this the energy of... Like, I'm tired of being hurt and I want something more. That's, that's what that seems like. That's what this energy seems like. Okay, I respect it. Uh, and or it could be just you figuring out what you want out of life. I want out of life, and you're speaking it into existence. You're being free with your mind, open with your heart, and vocal with your words. If that makes any type of sense. Pal number one. Okay, we're kind of like making good decisions. We're holding back at it. Hmm. Ah. Uh, this, oh, okay, well, we're going to take this, because every time I see the sun card, it's my shit. We're going to take the Ten of Pentacles as well, and then we got to take the Three of Cups on the top of the deck. So, what I'm honestly thinking, this is more of a who's coming towards you instead of, like, who's going to be contacting you. Uh, you have uh, energy of, uh, I feel like this is somewhat new. I feel like, and if this is not someone new, then this is someone that you probably have renewed energy with or will have renewed energy with um i feel like you're going to be moving forward and progressing you're going to be kind of indecisive about what to do about your future but honestly i feel like who's coming towards you is going to help you to build a legacy for your future uh a foundation for your future uh build probably generational wealth uh build security love Oh, I'm so sorry. I was drinking some Pepsi. Please forgive that burp. That was nasty. I'm sorry. Um, came up out of nowhere. <laughs> um, it's saying that this person that is coming towards you is going to be someone that's going to shake your foundation and help you to build a stronger one. A lot of happiness. Whoever is coming towards you is going to bring you a lot of happiness. So, instead of who's going to be contacting you soon, this is who's coming towards you soon. Uh, let me get some verbiage. I need some words. Tell me what I need to know. Spirit, please. About number one. What does I need to know to tell Pal B about what's coming towards them? I mean, Pal B. Pal number one. What's coming towards them? What is coming towards number one? What is coming towards number one? We have security. Yeah. I, I feel like you're going to have a relationship that's... Oh, you're going to have a relationship where you feel very secure. Some of you guys are going to be moving in with someone. Some of you guys are going to be creating a uh, more secure foundation in a relationship. 
I feel like you're going to be learning a lot from your past and just trying to move forward, honestly. I feel like you're trying to build off of fairness. Hold on, where is my notes, honey? Because I've been learning. That's what you got to do. You got to learn something new every day. Relationships, partnerships, marriage, yeah. Some of you guys might even be getting married to the person that's coming into your life. And if this is someone that you already know, if you're already in this phase and you have someone in your mind, uh, I feel like just things are going to get more secure with this person, right? Um, so this is, I keep on saying it, but this is more of a who's coming towards you than who's contacting you, okay? And the energy that's coming towards you, I should say. <sighs> a lot of growth and expansion, a lot of good blessings, good fortune. Uh, you've probably been asking for something and Spirit is blessing you. Spirit, Spirit is blessing you. Blessings, honey, blessings. Uh, let's see. What's to say? Yeah, some of you guys have been praying. Some of you guys have been, like, obsessing. <laughs> Especially since it's that Scorpio energy. Honey, I'm a Scorpio, so I know everything about it. Some of you guys have been trying to control the situation, obsessing, trying to make things to be the way you want them to. So you've been praying and asking, right? Spirit says that we hear you. Uh, yes, you are definitely... Uh, something's going to happen very unexpectedly. Expectedly. I can't fucking say the word. My nose is stopped up. But it's coming, right? <laughs> it's coming and you're not going to know that it's coming. Spirit says that it's going to kind of stir up your foundation. I think I said that before. I think I said it's going to knock down your your foundation to build a stronger one. So that's really good. Spirit says that this is someone who is a hard worker, someone who is business minded, someone who is dedicated to achieving more. They're very focused on their work. Money is a thing. Uh, Spirit says that this person is going to be in your future very soon. Uh, trust your psychic abilities. So if you've been feeling someone that's coming towards you, trust that energy. Spirit says don't be overwhelmed by this energy as well. Okay, Don't be overwhelmed because you have that Scorpio energy of obsession. And sometimes obsession... <laughs> Yeah, sometimes obsession uh, can uh, cause stress. So, also, I feel like it's going to be a lot of love, a lot of fun, a lot of abundance, a lot of pleasure, probably some sex, some romance. Having fun, right? It's going to be a lot of fun. Your person's very romantic. And I feel like just by making better choices romantically, watching your dating patterns, Watching the things that didn't work, learning from the past, not allowing heartbreak and pain to come into new relationships. Uh, watching your ideas, your thoughts, your processes. I feel like you have someone that's going to come in and give you a lot of fun, a lot of celebration. You guys might start off as friends. They might throw you some dick. They might throw you some pussy. And y'all might get into something more. Y'all will get into something more that's going to make you happy, right? Just keep on praying. Keep on dreaming. Keep on having faith. Whoever is meant to be with you is coming, okay? So this is really good. Really, really good. So let me know what you think about this. Uh-uh. Oh, this is my father, okay? I can, I'll let my text messages come from my father. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, this is nice. This is not who's going to contact you, but who's coming towards you soon. The next one is going to be who's going to contact you, hopefully. But I feel like Spirit wanted to let me know, to let you know that you got somebody coming towards you. Okay? So if this makes any type of sense to you, please let me know. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Hi, pound number two. Okay, pound number two. So... <sighs> Pound number one was who's coming towards them. Pound number two, this reading is supposed to be who's contacting you soon. So <laughs> let's see if someone is going to contact you or you have someone that's coming towards you soon. I want to start this reading off a little bit differently for some reason. Pound number two, Spirit, you told me to pick up this deck. You, you brought my eyes to this deck. Why? What is pound number two? You know what? I think I might change it. I think I might change it a uh, Make it be who's coming towards you soon. Because I don't feel like this is a contact information. But we'll see. We'll see. Spirit, who is coming towards pal number two? I mean, who's contacting pal number two? You told me to pick up this deck. Why? What do you have to show me? What do you have to tell me? Creative passion. I don't know why I said that. Cleanse and detox. There's nothing for you to truly worry about. 
this is who's coming towards you soon. We just gonna name it that. We just gonna name it that. We just gonna name it that because you got somebody new. Spirit says, what are you desiring? You wanna have babies? If you don't wanna have babies, which is perfectly fine, right? Everybody don't need to have a baby. It's gonna overpopulate the world as it is. Uh, but if you want some, like, some new innocent, fun, playful, not worrying about things type of energy is coming. Because you are you got a new partner that's coming towards you. Uh, Spirit says, cleanse and detox yourself. So some of you guys need to take some herb baths. Some of you guys need to just take some baths and pray over your water. Some of you guys need to sage yourself, sage your home, Palo Santos, all that beautiful stuff. You need to cleanse. And if you don't believe in any of that energy, which is... 100% fine, right? You need to pray for some type of cleansing of your energy. You need to remove some things. Watch what you say. Watch what you watch on TV. Watch what you listen to. It's something that you need to cleanse off of your body and your energy, your aura, so that you can get some things moving into your life. Spirit says that there's nothing for you to truly worry about. You have someone new that's coming on your path. It says a chance meeting is no mistake. It is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for the... You know, I can't fucking read distance. I'll be trying, though. Motion uh, for the fruitation of your prayers. Fake hope. Uh, you recognize why I said so oh spirit says be careful i mean be careful pay attention to the people that come into your life uh we're bringing you a soulmate this person you're going to feel very comfortable with is going to be a part of your life purpose you have someone that is on your path that is meant to be pay attention to the energy because they're bringing you someone. Spirit says, what do you truly desire? We've been sending you signs. We've been sending you notifications. We, we've we been, uh, you know, sending you all these type of signs for you to understand that you have something new. And if you just received the sign, like earlier today or maybe earlier week that's like standing out in your mind, it's definitely coming from Spirit. They're trying to tell you some things. Spirit says, you need to focus on what brings you joy, okay? Focus on what brings you happiness, uh, honestly, I feel like you have someone new coming towards you and this person is going to be a breath of fresh air. Uh, Spirit says it's time for you to let go of the past. It's time for you to let go of keep going around in cycles with people. It's time for you to begin something new, something better, something brighter, something happier. Cleansing and detox. And cleansing and detoxing can be getting rid of old fucking people too. That's like, <laughs> cleansing and detoxing old negative ass energy. You got someone new. Spirit says, let the past go. Like I said before, let the motherfuckers go. Let them go. And ask for what you want. What do you truly desire? What are you truly looking for? What will make you happy? Spirit says that, oh, shit. I need to, hold Sorry on. about that. I forgot to set my timer. <sighs> Deja vu. Okay. Okay. Ooh, you about to get you into a relationship. If this is something that you want, be honest with yourself. You could have this. This is something that you will be led to. You're going to be led to abundance, right? Led to having a family. Some of you guys want to have children. Some of you guys want just a man or a woman to come in to help create the family that you're desiring, right? Yeah, Spirit says that we stay close to you and the law of attraction is going to be something that you need to invest your time into, right? Trustworthy guidance spirit says that we have you. You need to align yourself with love, peace, and harmony. You need to raise your vibration. It's kind of hard for me to raise my vibration. I'm trying. I am 100% trying. But, you know, I, I, I have, I'm on this healing journey. I'm on this healing journey. And bitch is rough. It's, it's rough. I'm sorry. I was reading the bottom of the deck. But it's rough. It's 100% rough. It ain't easy. But you have someone new coming towards you. Spirit says, ask and you shall receive, okay? God came to me when I was a little bit of a little bitty infant and told me that I was special and whatever I want, I will receive it. Not literally, but I always tell people that story because I feel like it's my birthright to get what I want, you know, selfish. Not really, but you know, I deserve it. Anyways, so <laughs> I feel like daydreaming is something that's going to be a blessing to you. I feel like you figuring out what you want, being honest with yourself, what do you truly desire? Uh, and ask for that, right? Ask for someone, like, if you are the type of person who is very outdoorsy, 
You want to be outdoors. You want to go camping. You want to go hiking. You want to go do something fitness in the park. You just want to be outside. Ask for a person who's going to come along with you and help you to be outside. Ask for someone who likes hiking just as much as you do. If you love your animals, ask for a man or a woman that's going to love your animals just as much as you do. If you like to paint, ask for somebody that's going to be bring you inspiration. Ask for what you want and be truly desiring. Like if you're someone who does not want to get married but would love to have a life partner, ask for ask for someone who's going to understand that you have no desire to get married but you want to be in a long-term relationship. It is somebody out there for everybody. So ask for what you want and be truthful with yourself. If you can't be truthful with yourself, who can you be truthful with? Right? But you got someone new coming. That's interesting. I like that energy. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's keep this energy going. Let's see. Let's get some tarot. Spirit, what tarot do you have to... Uh, what do you have to say to Pal 2? Who's coming towards you? Because apparently this is a who coming towards you type of reading. So... <laughs> Who is coming towards Pal number two? Who is coming towards Pal number two? Who is coming towards Pal number two? Who is coming? We got a Knight of Wands. That's a Leo Sagittarius Aries. That is someone who got fuckboy energy. But the good thing about Knight of Wands, they give really good sex. They're very passionate people. Very passionate. It's just that the Knight of Wands doesn't always keep that flame going. So let's let's get more information about who this person is. Okay, let's get more information. We got the Hangman. We got, the, oh, oh, that is the card that I want to see. We have the King of Pentacles, honey. We got the Nine of Wands. Yes, this is somebody that doesn't give up easily. You're coming up as the Queen of Wands. Doesn't matter about your gender. Does not matter. It's the energy, right? The Knight of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Eight of Pentacles, and let's see, one more, one more, one more. Oh, okay, they gave me three more. Oh, this is this is somebody like I said before. This person is destined to be on your path, honey. We have the Justice card. We have the Eight of Cups, and we have the Lovers. Okay, so the person that is coming towards you is going to put some effort towards our love. It's going to be very fair, very, very, very balanced. I love that energy. It's going to be a lot of dedication, and you guys are going to have some type of spiritual connection. You guys are going to be talking spiritually, telepathically, uh, through, through the spiritual world. That's going to be y'all all, y'all main line. Uh, I, or, or yeah I do feel like you guys are going to talk spiritually but you guys might when you guys see each other because it did make me read that passage of being careful with the people that you just meet you're going to feel very comfortable very attracted to, attracted to them and not knowing why right I feel like when you meet this person you guys are going to automatically start something you guys are going to automatically start a conversation uh, just be attracted to each other. And I feel like it's not going to be hard for you guys to date. It's going to come naturally because you guys are going to just feel like it needs to happen naturally. Does that make sense? Uh, it's going to be a lot of dedicating to each other, trying to make an effort. Uh, this person is coming up as the Knight of Wands, but also as the King of Pentacles. So this is wonderful. <laughs> they got really good sex, but they're also going to stay in the morning. Okay, they're also going to wake up and make you some eggs and pay some rent or a mortgage. And that is what I'm talking about. Okay, I feel like you're going to have to look at this person from a different perspective. They're not going to be something that you probably have encountered before. So don't have a guard. Let down the walls, honey. Okay, let down the walls so the walls can get beat. Down. Okay, let me stop. Open yourself up to new possibilities, right? Open yourself up to all possibilities. Spirit says, figure out what you truly desire and ask for that. They keep saying that because you two are going to be someone of union. This might be a reconciliation with someone. It might be a new partner. It might be a reconciliation of a past life lover, right? 
I just feel like Spirit sending you someone that's going to be on the same level as you. And it's going to be a lot of fairness, a lot of equal give and take. It's going to be a lot of deep conversations as well. So we got Virgo Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Gemini energy, Libra energy. That's all the ones that I know. Yeah. I have Virgo. I have Virgo. A lot of Virgo energy as well. So who's coming towards you is honestly a new relationship. Be confident. Be confident. Be confident. Know that you deserve this. Know that, that happiness is your birthright and you are meant to have all the wonderful things in life. Accept that energy. Receive it. Okay? I want you to receive it. If I'm talking crazy, I'm very, very tired. <laughs> I'm extremely tired. I'm so sleepy right now trying to do this. But I feel like... Uh, ooh. Okay, Google. 111 angel number. According to Integrated Publishing Association, in the numerology of angels, the number 111 represents abundance and the ability to bring one's desires to fruition. The distinctiveness, independence, determination, as well as awareness that this number embodies are all key aspects of its broader symbolic meaning. You got damn right. So, Spirit is saying 111 represents abundance and the ability to bring one's desire to fruition. Did I just tell you that you need to get your shit together and ask for what you want? Girl. Girl or guy, I'll talk to y'all later. Keep writing down what you want. That's what you need to be doing. Writing down what you want and praying on it. That's, that's your homework, okay? And I'm expecting for y'all to turn y'all papers in tomorrow. So I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all be blessed and not stressed. And I'll see you in the next one. Hi, pal three. Okay, pal three. Welcome back to my reading. We about to get some... For, <laughs> we about to get some information. For some reason, this reading was called... Who's going to contact you next? But this is a who is coming towards you. So it shifted pretty quickly because <laughs> apparently uh people are not calling people are just coming into lives so who is coming towards pal three spirit wanted me to change it around and make it sound different so i don't mind that who is coming towards pal three who is coming towards pal three spirit give me a little bit of information y'all a little bit of information for some reason y'all say y'all say psalms 23 with me uh because for some reason i want to say psalms 23 it's a very cleansing structural energy like it makes me feel like things are being removed from me and things are being attracted to me at the same time so if you don't believe in the bible if you don't like psalms 23 then skip forward okay so the lord is my shepherd i should not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me besides the still waters he restoreth my soul he leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake you do you do i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff that comfort me thou prepares to take before me in the presence of my enemies thou anoint my head with oil my cup runneth oil over surely and surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and i will dwell in the house of the lord forever okay oh, you need some protection Okay, pal B, y'all probably need some protection. Let's see what's going on. Four of Cups. We got, ooh, we got the Nine of Pentacles. We got the Full Card and the Four of Wands. Hmm. We have the Ace of Cups. We got the Eight of Cups. We got the King of Pentacles. That's the man or the woman I like to see. Ooh, ooh. We got the Queen of Wands. Okay, so we got Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. All right, let's get it started. I'm excited. You're about to take a leap of faith in your love life. A leap of faith to find passion and happiness. You might have someone around you already that you might like. Uh, this person is saying that they want to stay in your life. They want to be around. They want to contribute to you, the existence of you too. Uh, it's something about this that doesn't make you feel fulfilled, though. But love is coming. Love is coming. Passion is coming. Desire is coming. It's like you are on the road to building a solid foundation with someone. 
Uh, maybe you've been in the energy of trying to figure out what love is, trying to figure out what your heart truly wants. And I feel like you will have the, you will have that, honestly. You would have that wonderful energy coming towards you. Huh. Maybe you've been single. Maybe you've been sad, left out in a cold, single. And now you're trying to take a leap of faith so that you can build a solid foundation in love with someone. Spirit says love is coming regardless of your situation. Love and passion is definitely coming. A fresh start, new beginning. Huh. You're on a path. Power number three. You are definitely on a path. Stay confident with yourself. Stay stable in your energy. It's time for you to look at your future from a different perspective. It's time for you to sacrifice yourself right now so that you can figure out your life and what you want your life story to be. Get your mind together, Power Three. Get your mind together. Yes. Some of you guys want to get married. Some of you guys just want a long term partner. And I feel like you have that energy coming towards you. Spirit is saying that. How you know what? Honestly, I feel like Spirit is saying that we're coming towards you, giving you something, but you also have a choice in love. You might have more than one person coming towards you. Well, look, options, honey, options. Uh, yeah, yeah. You are about to get, come out of an energy that makes you feel pain, an energy that it's not the best. And you're going to be going into peace, happiness, hopefulness, fear, feeling spiritually guided. Huh. A blessing from heaven. Yeah, you're about to <laughs> You're about to go on a road with someone. I don't know who this person. You might not know this person yet. You might already know this person. Got a little idea. It's coming towards you. This person's coming towards you. And how you're going to know who this person is, you're going to be very sexually attracted to them. So you're instantly going to get wet or instantly get hard and you're going to be thinking about fucking them. That's how you know who this person is. <laughs> That's coming towards you. I feel like... I feel like you're about to be on a journey with someone that is romantic that wants to have a relationship as well as someone that likes you just as much as you like them. That's the type of relationship that's coming towards you. Uh, you're going to feel like you have asked for this person in your life. You're going to feel like you know this person. This is something you need to be in the... Yes, yes, yes. You need to be in the energy of asking for what you want. The energy of being very clear with what you want from your future spirit is saying oh hold on, i need to set an alarm hold on one second pause three alexa 30 minutes 30 minutes starting now um you need to elevate ask for what you want to elevate ask for an elevation in your love life <sighs> since this is a different reading of not who's going to contact you but who's coming towards you I just feel like this is different. I just feel like it's a different type of energy. So I'm going to handle it way differently than I normally would. Spirit says that you need to get in the energy of deserving things. Knowing that you deserve love. Knowing that you deserve success. Knowing that you deserve happiness. It's your birthright. Once you get in the energy of knowing that you are everything, things are going to fall into place. Success is going to happen more quickly in your life. Spirit says that you are filled with magic, that you are a magical being, and you need to be able to manifest and ask for what you want. Create some magic into your life. Believe in magic. S success is coming towards you, and you don't really need to do a lot, but focus on yourself. Don't go chasing anyone. Focus on creating better energy within you, right? Uh, and let others come towards you. Spirit says now is the time for you to stay in the energy of grounding. Uh, now is the time for you to stay in the energy of find the energy of joy. But ground yourself in this reality. Ground yourself. Uh, ground your mind. I, I don't know. Let me explain the, the benefits of grounding. Grounding helps you to be able to see things from a different perspective. Grounding allows you to be open to other situations because you're not 
your mind is not everywhere. So maybe like taking 10 minutes out the day to meditate. Uh, maybe going out into nature and standing on the earth and just feeling connected to this spirituality. Um, not to this spirituality, but to this plane. Yeah. Uh, it might be other different ways or, you know, different ways, different things to ground. But grounding is a good thing. Spirit says take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself. Stop being so stubborn and frustrated with life. But opening up things. Opening up new doors. Taking a leap of faith. Spirit says frustration creates blockages. Stubbornness creates blockages. But open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the essence of a flow. Oh, embrace change. Embrace new beginnings. Embrace different things. Embrace your life. Get out of the energy of fearing intimacy and needing your needing to be right with everything. And just stay centered when it comes to your success and your life and your love and you. I honestly, I'm, I'm kind of tired, but I'm going to sum this up for you. You got someone coming towards you. Something that's going to bring a lot of love and a lot of passion. Don't fuck it up. Um, know that you deserve this. Know that you're going to find your happiness. You're going to find your true joy. Know that you are everything. You have the magic and the ability to be able to create the future you want and have everything that you desire. Spirit says that success is your birthright and you deserve it. Let other people come to you and don't fear change. Don't fear new people. Don't fear new opportunities. But go with the flow of life. Open yourself up to different type of intimacy, different type of uh, adventures in life and don't be in the energy of feeling like you know everything because trust me honey I'm one of those people and I know I don't know everything but <laughs> I feel like I know a lot <laughs> uh, but don't be in the energy of feeling like you know everything because honestly you will shock yourself okay you will shock yourself because you don't know everything we all nobody knows everything stay grounded relax get out into the world breathe breathe in the fresh air find your joy find your happiness and don't be frustrated or stubborn when it comes to different things or people into your life let go of drama and stay centered okay open up don't fear change so i think you have a relationship coming towards you something that's going to be successful so if this makes any type of sense to you pal number three let me know and I will talk to you beautiful people in the next one.